Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, GUTBOX here. So, we have Most Feared. There's a big stream tonight. We'll cover it on this channel with, like, all the reveals and everything. And we're going to go through that. They're going to have, uh, uh, you know, the number one is titled Update 3 Preview Season 2 Breakdown Most Feared Reveal. Now... I am always super nervous, and I hate it, absolutely hate it, if they put a title update on the same day as a program, because it's going to lead to issues, okay? Maybe the preview, maybe the title update's Friday? I, I, that'd be cool. Next week? Okay. I would actually be cooler with that than jamming in the same day as a promo, because it just, it just, it's not good, okay? So, we'll see all that. We'll break it down later tonight. I want to talk about, right? They've already teased out a couple things. First of all is Deion Sanders, 10 13 22. Now, obviously lines up with tomorrow with most fear. The, the big question, though, is this the season two uh, a champion, I think they call him now, or whatever it is, reward player? We had Casper. Are we going to have another throwback? But the thing is, Deion sells packs. And so it doesn't make sense that they'd put him as that. But that would be actually like one of the biggest wows if they did make Dion the season two guy um of course find out later tonight but my biggest issue right now is if like okay say he's like the most feared uh top card okay and then we're getting a patch and you know one of the best man cover corners of all time if not the best like you know let's bump up man a little bit more right like like you know how people complain about right i've had tweets about my biggest issues with matter right now and uh, I've done videos on it and stuff. I, I share my thoughts daily on Twitch.tv slash GutFox about it. But right now, my biggest complaint, uh, you know, these are my five big complaints from earlier this year. And obviously, there are more things in the list, as we've seen. Um, O-line logic, egg catches, man coverage, flat zones don't sprint. They don't get to the spot or any zones don't get to the spot. I should have said any zones. Under pressure is terrible, too. Under pressure cam needs to be, like, at least 7 AP. Okay, it's the, this is so overpowered. It's terrible. Um, this issue, right? Like, I really hope they don't nerf high points, right? It's the egg catches. It's the DBs not animating. It's the fact that we can't pick tips anymore. They should just build dri tip drill into every single player in the game, okay? Except for D linemen. They shouldn't get tip drills. I hate tips picks behind the line of scrimmage. Those are, that's the only time it seems like it matters. Anyways, I hope they don't nerf high points because that's gonna that's gonna buff man just in time for dion so everybody's gonna be running more man coverage chems i don't know if they're gonna do an ap update too maybe that'll be down the line i hope they don't before the patch i hope we wait for ap updates you know obviously under pressure needs to go man coverage is a little bit cheap but it is what it is all right let's talk about the market and let's talk well let's go look like let's this is like madden like i'm thinking like 92 overall dion sanders like these are kind of the, some of the stats we could expect out of them 93 speed acceleration agility um, they didn't have change direction back then, but I'd assume it'd be around 93 also. High man, decent zone, bad press, because he was never really a press man cover corner. Uh, but man, was he locked on out there. Jump awareness play rack. So, he was actually incredible. Tackling should be low. Hit power should be low. Block shed should be low. So, an incredible coverage guy. Not that great against the run. Some people might actually run him at safety if they are doing, like, a little bit of, like, the dollar or everything. So, that way they can match up against tight ends with, like, inside shade and stuff or... You know, there's so many flexibility spots that you can do on him. But last line of defense, Deion Sanders might be a little risky. But has the market already crashed? I, I think that's going to be the title of this video. And I, it's a good question, right? Now, I said on Market Monday that, you know, cards are going to go down. And it does look like since that, even on that day, cards were already headed that way. Now, I, I might not, you know, maybe I don't want to go through this filter. But let's go ahead and look through some cards. Because, like, the trending market is still the same. Actually, let's do that first. The training market has had held very steady. And why is that? Because what you should be doing with your coins right now is as people are selling off squads and stuff, prepping for the new season, the new content, everything that's coming, they're going to make mistakes, okay? And if you can buy training like, you know, 22 and under, you can just buy that and then, you know, re-roll it in the TVP for profits. We have one day of that method left, which is buying treat training and rolling over whether you go through aka legends core elites 82s to 83s looks like these are up in price it doesn't even look like there's any deals here i want to find like 82s under 97 or whatever and it doesn't look like uh we're doing that i should really filter by newest but you can go through i found some cheap 87s but anyways um uh, that's kind of where i'm looking at with the market 86s 56s okay not that good so 
the thing is the top end right the cards on the market that aren't really affected by tvp has already crashed a little bit right megatron and revis were like 1.2 million over the weekend and now they're down like look at this like 1.1 1.0 on the 8th that was saturday now it's down to 831 so it looks like people have already sold off quite a bit now do aka players are they affected by a lower training you're asking yourself the answer is kind of right as com uh, as competitive cards go lower people are like well i could just make you know 500,000 coins by going to a card slightly worse than revis but because we don't have an aka role other than that one aka role we get some weeks uh we didn't get this past week it's not really affected right now it is affected by you know coin availability a whole lot of things if we get our make rights on rewards the same thing happened to like lamar so basically what we're saying i want to show lamar's price too this card also crashed and you know obviously new cards do play into the effect uh of the reason why but like on saturday it was one point almost 1.4 million this is on playstation and then today it's 900k now obviously or i guess today it's 918 yesterday that's that has to do with like russell wilson too who was announced um late last night so that that played into it russell wilson's not as good as lamar by the way but you know at, at this kind of price do you think his redux is if they redux him is actually pulled out of packs at a, at a crazy high rate no the answer is no reduxes are very low rate pulls the issue is what will he go up with this right will he actually increase back to a million coins you might be buying him for at what he goes going forward because of uh, his power level. Because, like, most feared part one is never, like, insane blow our back outs type of deal. Let me look at last year's most feared Madden 22, right? If we look at part one um, of last year, this is what we can kind of expect for this one. Now, obviously, we're not going to get a 93 Travis Kelsey again because we literally just got him yesterday. But uh, a few parts, you know, these are pretty nice cards. This is part one, uh, 93s, 92s. But it's only going to be for, like, the top-end cards. What is this, seven, uh, six of them? I can, I can count. Are only at six positions. Now, we're, we're fielding, you know, 22 guys, 11 and 8 set of the ball, plus, you know, flex spots, fullbacks, third, fourth wide receivers sometimes, depending on your set. Um, that it's not going to crash every single position. Obviously, there's going to be competition coming out. Top-end cards are going to be great um we don't know if pack odds are going to change with season two that if pack odds go up prices go down that's another risk you're factoring into this and that's why people have already sold off they expect you know maybe season two brings an increase to pack odds which could absolutely happen right because the last time we got an increase in overall pack odds went up so if increases overalls increase again if dion and all these cards come out of 92 overall who's gonna want 91s as much anymore but these are the factors and the risk factors you have to take into account so because like everybody's gonna get on uh thursday morning with the most feared and buy back their teens if they sold so like there's gonna be a lot of rush for demand on most feared morning and so to meet with that demand is gonna have to have a high-end supply shock with pack odds and those things gotta like maneuver but the thing is like we're still on pack strike until ea like just talks to us about what the heck's going on and going forward with bundle toppers with solos that kind of thing and why is why is every card so expensive that's coming out now when they really should be some of these even half their price right team of the week marshall should be like 400k not 700k and so that's the issue that's the issue i don't know i, I we'll, we'll see what happens going forward that's what i kind of want to talk about is like don't wait maybe if, if you find a card that is a really good price you can find some really nice snipes on some top end top end cards here because people will sell off at a really stupid rate um and we've seen this like every single sell your team off type of promo of all time and this just it does look like a perfect storm but people are seeing this they're hearing this the perfect storm cometh we'll see i i do expect the market overall to drop but not every card so dion maybe season two champion most likely most feared champion we'll see on tonight i'll have a video for it hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe Become a member if you want to see the best ebooks in Madden 23. How to destroy the Madden and everything. I think we'll come out with a defensive one here soon. I'll update to our defensive one here soon. After the patch, obviously. All right, that's it.